What is up, everybody? I am Easy. This is Easy Street Gaming. This is the Brutal Age Horde Invasion Partner Guide Part 18. Part 18. This is on the Marksman by special request by one of our subscribers. First thing I want to go over is that Marksman is kind of lower hit points, so you have to really watch the restraint system. Remember that blue blue restrains red, red restrains green, green restrains blue. So when you have uh, an enemy that's mostly blue, then you, you use the green marksman. Uh, they're all they're, they're all different strengths strength level. There's not one that's just totally overpowered. Although I'll just say right at the beginning, green's probably a little stronger than the rest of them, and I'll explain why in a second. But we'll start off with the blue. Here you have the blue uh, in a in a ranked not a ranked but a, a lonely warrior match against Thera. And I actually pulled this off of the top 100, so the blue marksman was in the top 100 in the Thera. So, they all have Wild Shot. Wild Shot is basically they shoot three arrows, and the, the third one will do, do the most damage. And it will just hit randomly the third, uh, the third arrow. No, I think it hits everyone, and the third arrow will do the most damage to all of them. Uh, the second one is called Aimed Arrow. Now, Aimed Arrow is a little bit different. It automatically attacks the lowest hit point. Or the lowest hit point partners and then there's also a chance that it will lower their defense and the last one see this used to be a much weaker attack than it is now I think they put a buff on it a few months back it's called hail of arrows it's it's basically that she'll unload like a thousand arrows on onto the whole party or four arrows on each part on each member of the other party to be exact and if she happens to kill any of the other uh, uh, any of the enemies then her action bar starts increasing by like 30% of kill and once you get her to the third level of awakening so that's six stars but three three red stars then she gets the leader skill of attack so she's one of the partners that doesn't have a leader skill until you get her to the third awakening six star then she'll have the the attack red now I think I think I'm going from weakest to strongest here I think red is the second strongest she also has Wild Shot. They all have Wild Shot as their first attack. Red's second attack, it's called Sharp Sense. And basically as her hit points deplete, this attack goes faster and faster. And if she happens to attack an enemy that has lower hit points than her, then it does like extra 50% damage. So this is another attack from the Marksman that it has a sliding scale of how much damage it does based on her hit points, based on their hit points. Um, her, this is actually her second, but we'll, I'm just explaining it last. It's called Fatal Arrow. I believe her and the green both share Fatal Arrow. This attack is three arrows onto one enemy, and it, there's like a 75% chance you can silence the enemy, and if the enemy doesn't have any buffs, then it does, it does like 30% more damage, so it does a ton of damage to enemies that, that don't have buffs. Now, War Patterns. War Patterns on her... A, a little tricky because there's a bunch of different war patterns that work well on her. I think the strongest war pattern overall for all three of the marksmen would be Smilodon and Hippo. Smilodon because she's an attack partner. So you get Smilodon which are which gives 30% attack buff. And then on the left hand you can use speed or attack percentage. The helmet I would suggest just straight up attack percentage. On the right hand you can use hit point or attack percentage. And I say hit point not because that she does any more damage or less damage with hit points but because her hit points are fairly low and you'll notice that she'll die pretty easily unless the conditions are right for her so first make sure you have a healer in her party uh, or a shield uh, partner so healer and shield partners are must with her and, uh, and and maybe bumping up her hit points now for the second through fifth attribute basically go over the same thing speed also critical rate and critical damage would be very important for your second through fifth attributes some people give uh, her critical rate critical damage on the helmet but um, I'm, I'm thinking just go with attack percentage all the way on, on the helmet on the hands and then on the second attribute second through fifth then you go into the speed the critical rate the hit points and attack percentage on that too so basically all around just attack 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 I've seen some people use all hippo on her and then use the attack percentage on the hands and on the helmet I've also seen people use all wolf on her and then put put uh, hit point percentage on the helmet and then attack on the hands So there's a lot of different ways you can set her up Let's get into the green green is, in my opinion green is definitely the strongest 
In my opinion, it's definitely the strongest. <laughs> wow. Uh, her first attack is the same as the others. It's wild shot. And if I haven't explained it yet, because I can't remember from five minutes ago, it's it's uh, three shots in a row, and then the, the last arrow does more damage than the other two. Her second attack is fatal arrow, which she also shares with the red uh, marksman. And the fatal arrow is she'll shoot three arrows at all the enemies, and there's like that 75% chance to silence them, and an extra 30% damage if she does not have a buff. So that's another pretty strong attack. But her number one attack is called Overload Shot. This is when she'll shoot three arrows in a row and the third arrow will, will hit all enemies. And it's the, the last shot is based on the enemy's max hit points. And she'll also gain 30% of, on her action bar. So it's a, it's a pretty big attack for her. It keeps her action bar filled up and it's, a, it's, it's lethal towards, especially towards uh, uh, blue partners. So she's really green is really strong against blue partners. Uh, now she's another uh, one of the one of the heroes that does not have a leader skill Until you get to the th uh, third awakening. So once you get to the third awakening she gets the critical rate leader skill Which kind of tells you that if you use critical rate and critical rate damage on her war pattern then she'll th Adapt well to those whenever you see any of that stuff inside her abilities Then y you know you can use that for her in her war patterns and it'll do well once again, we are running out of time, so let's get into Easy's Marksman's Tips. Get her attack over 1,000 combined as soon as possible. I believe I have one Green Marksman over 1,600 attack, and she's lethal, especially against Blue Partners. So get that attack over 1,000 combined. Think about the restraints. Remember, red, red enemies will beat up the Green Marksman, and it will work, it will work the other way around too. So just uh, be really careful about the restraints. And try to use a healer or a shield partner with her to try to protect her a little more. So, end of the video. I just want to tell everyone how much I appreciate all the subscriptions, uh, the comments. Uh, this video was made on a for, because of a comment from one of the subscribers. So, leave comments if you want to see anything. I'll try to do whatever I can for everyone. So, just can't thank everyone enough. I really appreciate everyone. Until next time, it's been easy.